Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to do this quick little style, something you could do really quickly on wash day if you just don't feel like doing your hair, you just throw it up and put it in a quick braid like this. So if you wanna see how I achieve this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so my hair is freshly washed and I threw it up in this bun just so it can start laying in place for when I'm ready to style it. I'm spraying my hair lightly with water and adding some moisturizer as well because we can have dry hair around here and I'm going to apply that all throughout my hair. So while I'm getting my hair together, let's just talk about the things that you will need. Of course, you're going to need braiding hair. I use the one from the Giant Collection, um, a brush and a comb, a gel or an edge control of your choice, and a hair tie. Once all the product is in my hair, I'm going to use my soft bristle brush to smooth my hair in an upwards direction because obviously the ponytail is going to be on top of our head. So we wanna prep the hair to lay in that direction. Now the hard part is getting all of this hair on top of your head. The struggle was real. My arms were getting tired, but can we get into this instant facelift the high ponytail gives? Yes. Once you're happy with the height of your ponytail, we're going to lay our edges down. Well, I'm going to lay my edges down using the Olive Oil Eco Styler Gel. This slicks my hair really easily. I wasn't using it for a long time, but I totally understand the hype now. It definitely works. I'll be applying that all around my head and brushing, and brushing it in with my bristle brush. I can't say that. Bristle brush. So I had to fix my ponytail again because I felt like it wasn't high enough. And so when I was happy with it, I tied it down with my silk scarf. And I used two to lay both the front and the back as much as possible. But let's be honest, my hair is just gonna be wavy anyway, so yeah. I'm gonna leave these scarves on until I'm done styling. And finally, it's time to work on this ponytail. I'm refreshing my hair with water and then splitting that into two sections and twisting them down. If you have thick hair, this is definitely a must because you want your bun to be as small as possible. I also wanted to let you guys know that this isn't a style that I would recommend doing um, all the time. <laughs> and I wouldn't keep it in my hair for like more than three days because this is a lot of tension that's going on. You don't want to put your edges on unnecessary stress and I don't want none of y'all blaming me. But when your edges is falling out or anything like that or if you're experiencing breakage. So this is not something that I would do all the time. Just a style that you want to slap in real quick and go about your business, you know? But this is not, I don't consider this a protective style. I just wanted to throw that out there. I 
I wrapped the two twists in opposite directions just so we can lay right and I secured it with a rubber band. To achieve the ponytail I used this Janet Collection braiding hair from my beauty supply store. I don't think it was more than $3. Once I wrapped the hair tie around the hair, I pulled the ends a little bit just so that the hair isn't blunt. This is going to help with braiding the hair all the way down. Then basically I just looped it over my bun and I took out a small piece of hair and I'm going to braid my hair all the way down. This doesn't have to be super neat unless that's the look that you're going for. I like it to be a little more messy, just to give that effortless vibe. When I'm finished braiding, I dip the ends in some hot water to seal it. This is totally optional. Okay, 30 years later, I'm finally done with braiding both pieces and I'm going to blend the braiding hair on top of my little bun and pin it down using an open bobby pin. And then I wrapped a skinny braid around the base of my bun just to add some something extra, a little dimension. But I thought it was kind of cute hanging down as well. And that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys haven't already. Um, and click that notification bell so that you're notified every single time I upload a new video. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye!